As Rob just showed us, parts of the North Bay got half a foot of rain from the storm. Thankfully, no major damage there. But a lot of people are aware with those other stores lining up that it's going to be dicey. NBC Bears Pete Serratos joins us live from San Anselmo. And Pete, this is an area that is notorious for flooding. So I know the businesses there are already preparing because they've been through this many times. Yeah, that's right, Jessica. Yeah, and it all has to do with their proximity to San Anselmo Creek and with that next storm rolling in and what the next 40 hours or so, there's concern about how fast that creek can rise here in downtown. The first in a series of storms traveled through the North Bay this morning with gusting winds and drenching rain, creating a rough morning commute. In Sonoma County, there was a good amount of minor flooding around Santa Rosa. The fire officials say, thankfully, this storm didn't trigger any major landslides near the glass fire burn scar. We fortunately didn't have the volume of rain or the rainfall rates that would uh, trigger some of the concerns that we've been preparing for over the last couple of years. Down in Marin, San Anselmo businesses are taking advantage of tonight's break in the rain, fixing any issues before the next storm rolls in. Mateo Busina is the owner of Taco Jane's in downtown. The business was around during the massive New Year's Eve flood of 2005. He says it forever changed how businesses here deal with the rain, with many adding floodgates and other protections. So the water... Today, he's also it's, fixing one of the sump pumps he installed in water, after that major flood and clearing out right the drainage. Here. I have someone coming today to push some uh, on the downspouts from the from the drains because it doesn't take much to um, for places that are on flat laying ground. If the water doesn't have somewhere to go, you can be flooded. Carolyn Latham runs a physical therapy business out of her garage in San Anselmo. Previous storms have turned that spot into a pond. So with another storm in a matter of days, she's not taking any chances. I'll put everything up. Um, I have some like metal kind of shelves that I'll put everything up on to anything that's low down um, and just get some sandbags uh, if my if my landlord thinks I should. Now, as far as the San Anselmo Creek levels right now, they're fairly low, but we know that it peaked at about six and a half feet around 5 a.m. The moderate flood stage would be considered about 13 feet. So we'll see what happens to those levels later this week. In San Anselmo, Pete Serratos, NBC Barry News. We'll certainly keep an eye on that. Thank you, Pete. 